Hey guys, how you doing? This is Thomas George from electromusicacademy.com and today we're going to be talking about sidechaining. So what sidechaining is, it's the pulsating sounds uh, that you get in a lot of electronic music and dance music and you can apply this effect to each separate instruments and it gives a real pulsating, real kind of breathing sound, <laughs> real hands in the air dance music kind of sound. I'm going to be showing you how to do it in a moment on Logic Pro X. There's two main ways of doing it. The main way um, I actually use is through a plugin called One Knob Pump Up on the One Knob series by Waves. And the other way, uh, if you haven't got that plugin, is by doing it through sidechain compression. They're both really easy ways of doing it and it can make a lot of difference to your track. Okay, let's get involved and let's jump straight in. So here's the track I've been working on. It's really simple at the moment, just drums, um, some chords and the bass. You hear that the bass is really flat and quite boring at the moment. I'd be quite bored of this if I was listening to the track myself. That's the bass part. Pretty flat, pretty boring. I'm going to put a side chain on it to make it a little bit more exciting and give a bit more space in the music. So let's open up our mixer. First way of doing it, like I said before, is by using a one knob uh, pumper. Which is really, really easy. Literally just whack it on. You can set your rate here as well. I've just got a quarter notes and let's have a listen with it on. Straight away you can hear the difference. I'll just solo the bass. Really gives that pumping, pulsating sound. And obviously 10 is for more. And zeros for a lot less or off in this case. I normally have it between about six and seven. It's really, really simple to do. You can actually uh, automate the rate as well. So if you just go on automation, one knob pump and rate, it's set to quarter notes at the moment. Let's just try uh, 16 notes. <laughs> maybe not for this type of music, maybe 12s. That might be cool for dubstep or another type of music, but for this track, I'm just going to leave it on quarter notes. Let's hear it in the mix again. The other way, if you don't like um, that way or you haven't gotten the one knob series, is by doing it through the compressor. This way is really straightforward as well. We first need to set up another software instrument. So let's create a new instrument, software instrument. And let's actually change this um, to Ultra Beat. So Ultra Beat Stereo. Let's close this for now. And what we need to first do is create uh, a new bus, so bus 3. It pops up here, auxiliary 3. We need to make sure the output is on no output or it double itself and we don't want to hear it twice. Okay. And now what we need to do is actually um, Right, out some MIDI for the side chainer uh, to actually work. And so it's going to compress through this MIDI information. So let's get the pencil tool and just draw in some MIDI information. We go down to C1, that is the kick drum for Ultra Beat. Okay. We have to make sure this MIDI information is always there for the parts we want side chained. So we've got to copy it over. And then it will sidechain whatever MIDI information it actually is. So at the moment, if you look, it's set to quarter notes again, crotchets. We can change this to any notes we want, but for this song, I just want quarter notes. Okay. Next thing we do is if we don't want to hear those kick drums in our track, we can actually turn the output off here as well. So we go down to no output, then we won't actually hear uh, the kick drums but it still be triggering our side chainer. Okay, what we do now is go to the bass part and then stick on a compressor. Go dynamics, compressor, stereo. Okay, and you see up here it says side chain. Let's change this to bus free. Side chain our bus. Okay. 
We also need to make sure on Ultra Beat that the bus free is set all the way up. Then it will send it into the bus. Okay, let's play that. There we go, we can hear, we can actually see that it's compressed and we can see it's pulsating to the kick drum. You see that? Let's change the release all the way down so it's a lot faster. Then we can mess around with the compressor, fresh, compressor threshold. So in the ratio, okay, sounds pretty cool to me. Let's just solo them. Remember, you need to have them both solo. See the bass and this one. Let's just rename it Sidechain. Need them both slow to hear it. There we go. Easy peasy. Remember, it only side chains when the MIDI information's there. So if there's no MIDI information, like this. It's not going to side chain it. But if the MIDI information's there, it will side chain it. And like I said before, it doesn't necessarily have to be quarter notes. Could be any kind of notes you want. But for this song, I, I think. There you go, just change it. But for this song, um, I think quarter notes works the best. Right, so let's hear it in the mix of the song. Sounds pretty good to me. Okay, open up the mixer. Let's hear it with the one knob. It's pretty similar. The one knob's slightly easier to do, but they both work absolutely fine. Okay, so I just run for really quickly what you do for the one knob, literally just bang it in, set the rate. I normally have it between six and seven. And for the side chain compressors, open up a new track, draw on the MIDI notes yourself. Send it to an auxiliary, uh, make sure the auxiliary has no output. Uh, bang up the, the bus right all the way to the top, make sure that says no output too, or you hear the track. Um, and then bring up the compressor. Sidechain bus free, release all the way down. Play around with the uh, compressor threshold and the ratio. There you go. That's how you sidechain on Logic Pro X.